Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So in today's video I'm going to show you how I do a poly gel infill on my nails. My nails have been on for about three weeks, they need a rebalance, they need a good reshape as well and I'm just going to show you how this Madame Glam poly gel has worn as well. So we're going to start off with prep. I'm going to show you how I would prep my nails for an infill. This would be the same for acrylic and hard gel as well. So I'm going to first off go in with my cuticle pusher and push back that eponychium area to reveal all that dead cuticle on the nail plate. And then I'm going to swap sides and use the little scraper edge to very gently scrape off any of that dead cuticle that has ridden the nail plate as it's grown out. You can see it all there coming off and I'm using this tool very lightly you don't need to be hard with it so i'm just going to show you again on another nail gently pushing back that eponychium area and then going in with the other side of the tool to just get rid of any of that dead skin and dead cuticle now you could just do this make sure you've thoroughly used your tool to get rid of all the dead skin and cuticle or you can go in with a cuticle bit if you have an e-file and do one further step of going round. I personally like to do this. I just feel more satisfied that I've gotten rid of all the dead cuticle on the nail plate so that it stops any lifting from happening. So I'm using this bit. It is from Todak USA. I will leave it linked down in the description box down below if you want to check it out but it's totally optional you don't have to use it and then I'm just going in with this tiny little scrub brush it's so handy dandy and I'm just going in and getting rid of all that dead skin so I can see what we're left with so if you have a closer look at my nails you can see all these dead little bits of hangnail and skin that are kind of poking out on around my nail fold so I do like to go in with a pair of cuticle nippers and just nip away any of that hanging off skin you do not want to be cutting the eponychium with cuticle nippers people often get confused between what is cuticle and what is the eponychium you should not be cutting the eponychium because that is a living tissue so just getting rid of any of that dead skin so now going in with a smooth top carbide bit with my e-file and make sure you're wearing a mask because you don't want to be breathing in any of that dust so I'm using an e-file for this as I said I prefer to do it it's a lot quicker um, if you are doing it by hand file that's absolutely fine too you can do it I used to do it that way myself but now I'm onto an e-file and it's so much quicker it speeds up your time so fast so I highly recommend going on a course and getting yourself an e-file because it does speed this process up so I'm just using my e-file to remove that gel polish that was previously on the nails and you can see how quick it is this is all in real time for you so you can get an idea of how super quick this e-file works so I'm just going around and getting rid of all of that purple gel polish not touching the natural nail at all I'm only using this on the nail enhancement because if you were to use this bit on the natural nail you would cause damage so keep it just on the nail enhancement and then going in with that cute little duster brush and getting rid of all the dust having a closer look and as you can see here there's absolutely no lifting with this product it wore so nicely all it needs is a little bit of a rebalance and the apex putting back in the correct place so i'm just going to show you one more nail of removing the gel polish and when you're using an e-file make sure you just bring the e-file down on the nail and don't move backwards and forwards because that builds up heat as well so making sure again I've gotten rid of all of that purple gel polish and then we'll move on to the next step. So I just wanted to show you a side view of me just sorting out the apex area and removing some of the bulk because they have been on for three plus weeks the apex is in the complete wrong place as it's grown out so I'm just adjusting that and filing down some of the areas where I don't need as much product. So once I've done all of those nails as you can see here there is absolutely no lifting whatsoever this Madame Poly Gel is my favorite it is so good it sticks so well to that nail and it doesn't 
budge I love the stuff so I'm now going to go in and show you how I refine and file my nails ready for the infill. So I do my sides of the nails first to really refine the shape I want. I wanted a almond stiletto-y style nail for this refill and reshape and design. So I'm filing the sides in to get them to exactly where I want them and making sure I check from different angles to make sure I'm happy. I then go in with my file and file around that cuticle area. And I'm using a 180 grit file and lightly going around that cuticle and eponychium area and lightly taking off that shine and blending the existing poly gel into the natural nail, being very gently as I do so. And that would be the part in the filing process where you would remove any lifting you have as well. I'm then taking my file and filing the end of the nail to the middle is where I want the apex and then I take my file and file around the apex area where I want it to be. So that way I'm refining the shape and getting it nice and flush with the natural nail as you can see here, checking it from all angles making sure I'm happy and then we'll be going on to the next step. I will also link all products and tools I've used in this video in the description box down below so if you want to find anything out all the information will be in the description box. I also have a discount code for Madam Glam, I'll pop that up on screen now, you get 30% off which is an amazing saving. I will also leave the discount code in the description box down below for you guys. So that's all five nails ready and filed, ready to apply the infill product. So I'm just going in with some alcohol or acetone, it doesn't matter which one, I use acetone. And I'm just cleansing off that nail, getting rid of any oils that are on that regrowth and cleansing off the rest of the nails. And I'm going to be using the Madam Glam base gel, this is the way they recommend the system to be used. So I'm going in and using a tiny little bit of that base gel and just applying it to that regrowth area on the natural nail plate and bringing it slightly up onto the existing poly gel so I'm going to do that to every single nail and cure in my lamp for 30 seconds. Once that has cured in my lamp, I'm using Japanese Camellia Poly Gel from Madam Glam and the Madam Glam brush. This is the brush and paddle in one. And I'm going to be squeezing a little bit out of the tube onto my paddle. Depending on how long your nails have grown out for, depends on how much product you'll need to use to infill the area. Mine have been on for three weeks, so I needed about a third of what I'd use if I was building a new fresh nail. So I'm applying this to the back third of the nail, smudging it into the areas I want it and then using the tip of the brush to push it back into that eponychium cuticle area. The reason why I love this colour and it's my favourite out of all the Madame Glam poly gels is because it's slightly sheer. So if you wanted to just wear this by itself, it really blends into that cuticle area nicely and you see a little bit of the natural nail coming through so it looks really nice and natural as natural as super long stiletto nails can look might I add so I'm using my brush to blend the rest of that product down the nail because obviously I don't need any at the end I'm then going to turn it onto the side view and check I've got my apex where I want it to be and just keep adding a tiny bit of alcohol to your brush to allow you to smooth that poly gel out. You only need a little bit, you don't need a lot because otherwise it can oversaturate the nail and it will cause lifting problems. So we're going to do the same process again, I'm going to talk through it once more, but I'm going to show it on a little bit of a side angle. As you can see here, when you place that poly gel on, which is one of the main reasons I love poly gel, it does not budge it does not go anywhere it's fabulous so you could apply it to every single nail if you're working on a client and then move from one finger to the other it won't budge and then you can cure the whole hand at once it really does speed up the process compared to for example hard gel 
So I'm just going in again with my brush, making sure I've dipped it in some alcohol beforehand to wet the brush so it makes it really easy to move that poly gel about. Otherwise, if you didn't do that, it would stick to your brush. Equally so, you don't want to oversaturate your brush. So I do dip into the alcohol and then dab on a piece of tissue paper before I use it to maneuver the poly gel on the nail and I'm always checking from side angles to check that the apex is where I want it to be. So after I've done that I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds in my lamp and then I'm just going in again with some acetone just to clean off that inhibition and sticky layer off the nail ready to finish file. So I'm now going in with my same file and this is the 180 grit file poly gel is nice and soft and it's really easy to file so you don't need anything coarser so i'm just using this file to go around that cuticle area to really refine that and make it nice and flush then going over the whole surface of the nail to really refine that shape again looking at different angles to make sure that apex and the structure is perfect so i'm just going to show you the second nail again i didn't need to do much filing around the side wall areas because i'd already refined that in the beginning stages of this process if i was doing a fresh set of nails i would start with the side walls and then go to the cuticle area then the majority of the surface of the nail and then round the apex. But because we've already refined it, I don't need to do that. So now using my little duster brush, I'm scrubbing off any excess dust and just checking I'm happy with the shape and looking from different angles, making sure the apex is correct and I've got a nice refined shape and look. So I'm now going in again with some acetone just to cleanse off any excess dust to get them ready for polish. And I'm just going in with a Madame Glam top gel and applying one coat of this to every single nail. I didn't want to add any colour for this video, I wanted to, you to see what the poly gel looked like by itself. And you can kind of see with this colour, which is Japanese camellia, it does have a really fine dust, like flecky glittery dust running through it. It's really, really subtle, but it is a beautiful peachy nude colour. It is stunning. And as I said, it's slightly sheer, so it creates a really nice growth and nat natural look as it grows out if you were to use this as your colour as well. So after that's cured in the lamp for 30 seconds, just cleansing that inhibition layer off and applying some cuticle oil to the nails and then you are done. I normally leave the nails for about a minute to cool down from having the top coat and then put my cuticle oil on that way it really makes the nails shine and gleam and there you go there is the finished look i love this poly gel i highly recommend it to anyone that's wanting to try poly gel out is really super easy to use i have a few videos up on my youtube channel on how to use this product and apply it using forms and tips so I will link that video in the description box down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account at Isabel May Nails and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.